On Saturday, September 30th, the Ashland University Eagle football team is going out to take on the Ohio Dominican Panthers at Panther Field here in Columbus, Ohio. This contest between both sides is detrimental to the rest of conference play as both teams sit 1-3 on the season so far, looking to garner momentum heading into the second half of the season. Here today, it's going to be a battle between these two sides as the Eagles look to recover from a 55-30 loss to Tiffin last weekend. Game coverage coming up here soon, but we're hoping to see if head coach Doug Geiser can start to turn the wheels of his squad and help push them to a victory here today. In the first half of play, it was Eagle kicker A.J. Rhodes who got on the board for the Eagles as he knocked through two field goals, the only points scored in the first half. With the Eagles heading into halftime with a 6-0 lead, head coach Doug Geiser was hoping to see if his team could come out swinging in the second half, and that they would. Well, I challenged, I challenged the offense. I said, get us to 20. I said, just to feel the way the game was going, you get us to 20 points, we're going to win. Okay, so that was a big thing. So I was really proud of the offense to come out initially, and they took it right down the field and got the touchdown on the first drive. That was big. And challenged the defense on the first drive to come out and get a stop and did the same thing. So that, that response right there was huge as far as making a statement in the second half. The Eagles were able to put 20 points onto the board throughout the entirety of the contest while giving up just six. Wideout Desmond Libertas was also a key factor in the Eagles' victory as he hauled in a couple catches going for 73 yards in the receiving game while taking home a 90-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, giving the Eagles their final score of the contest. We like to play at home. We like to play at Jack Miller Stadium. There's, some, there's something special there with that, having to be in front, being in front of our own fans. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're, we're excited and we hope, we hope to get a big crowd next week. The Eagles ended up pulling off a 20-6 victory over the Ohio Dominican Panthers and next look to come back home here at Jack Miller Stadium where they will take on the Walsh University Cavaliers. That contest is set for Saturday, October 7th at 7 p.m. For the Ashland University Journalism and Digital Media Department, I'm Cade Krakus.